Hi, it's John from Android Annex with a, another Galaxy S10 video showing you this time the Bixby quick commands. So in my previous video I was showing the Bixby routines which are okay but they're not quite there yet and you can actually do a bit more with the Bixby quick commands. Now to access the Bixby quick commands you've got to go into the Bixby key here. So I've just double tapped here um, that's what I've got it set to and this brings up Bixby. Now this is not to be mistaken for the other uh, Bixby sort of homepage thing here where you swipe to the right because in here you cannot access the quick commands. So whether you've got it set as a single tap or a double tap, go into Bixby and you'll see the three dots here, click on them and go to quick commands. Okay, so as per the Bixby routines, you get a list of recommended quick commands here, but we're going to be creating our own and I'll show you exactly what you can and can't do, and obviously a few tips on the way. So the idea of Bixby quick commands are that you can quickly tell Bixby something and she or he will go ahead and change some settings, read you out some data, or uh, otherwise do something that you want her to do. So let's take an example of coming home from a day at work and you want to, rather than going into your settings here, turning things on and off, setting your brightness, etc., you just want Bixby to just do it for you because let's face it, you're lazy. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a command for, let's say I'm home. So what this will mean is when you tell Bixby that you're home, she or he will do something. So when I get home, we're going to add a command. Now, when you add a command here, you have three choices. You can either select a, a command from a list, say a command, or type a command. So if we click on the top one here, select a command, you get a load of different uh, settings here that you can do. But the problem with this is that you don't get all the settings. So we've clicked settings here. You would be, you know, unsurprisingly mistaken that these are the only commands you can actually run because these are the only ones that show up. But actually, you can do quite a few different things. So as you can see here, not on the list, say it or type it. So the other option you get is to say the command or type a command. I don't particularly like typing the command, so let's just go ahead and say the command because let's face it, it's quicker. So we're gonna say a command uh, when I've uh, decided what I'm gonna say. So let's say I'm home from work and I want to set my ringtone volume to say 70%. Set ringtone volume to 70%. Okay, I'm gonna add a few other things on here and you'll see them build up in the list and then we'll test it out and see if it works. We're gonna add another command. Say command. Turn Bluetooth off. Turn off NFC. Set media volume to 50%. It helps if I click the command, doesn't it? Set media volume to 50%. Turn Wi Fi on. Turn Wi Fi on. Turn mobile data off. Okay, so we have our quick command set up, so I'm going to give it a try and we'll see what happens. Hi Bixby, I'm home. Okay, there we have it. It's run through our six commands here. It's finished, and we can see mobile data is off, NFC is off, Bluetooth is also off, and we've changed our ringtone volumes as requested. Okay, great, so let's just have a go at setting up another routine. So let's create one called, I'm going to work. Okay. 
and we're gonna again we're gonna go through and say the commands because it's just quicker and easier. Turn on mobile data. Turn off Wi-Fi. Turn on NFC. Set media volume. Set media volume to 100%. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay, so this is our new routine, our command here, and I just need to point out a couple of things here. The reason we turn on mobile data first is because Bixby actually requires a internet connection to work. So if we turn off the Wi-Fi before turning on the mobile data, it, the um, command will just fail. I have tried it myself by mistake. I thought, you know, I'll just turn off the Wi-Fi and then turn on mobile data, but actually you do have to turn it on mobile data before you turn off the Wi-Fi or the command will fail. So we're gonna turn on mobile data, turn off the Wi-Fi, turn on NFC, set the media volume to 100% and then turn on Bluetooth. Let's give it a go. Hi Bixby, I'm going to work. Okay, I've turned on NFC. All right, I've changed it. Done, Bluetooth is on. Okay, so we've got a couple of good settings here or commands. The one when we're going to work and the one when we come back and we're home. But how about other things you can do? So let's just go through a sort of morning routine that you could potentially set up. This isn't something I personally use, but um, it's something that you could use if you so wanted. First of all, uh, because I'm on mobile data, I'm just going to tell Bixby I'm home just to get my settings uh, correct again. Hi Bixby, I'm home. So this is going to turn my Wi-Fi back on. And Actually, the volume is already set to 70%. Go through the other settings. Got it, I've turned off Bluetooth. All right, it's off. Okay, I've changed the volume level. All right, it's on. Okay, so as you can see there, um, just to reinforce what I said earlier, I, when I'm home, I turn Wi-Fi on before I turn mobile data off or the internet connection goes off on the phone and the quick command will stop. So, Let's create another one and we'll call it good morning. Okay. And let's add a couple of things in here. Turn off, do not disturb. Enable always on display. What's today's date? What's the weather like today? Read today's schedule. Okay, so this is just a quick example of what you could potentially do uh, with a morning sort of wake up routine. So you could turn off your do not disturb, enable the always on display, read out the today's date, read out the weather and read today's schedule. So Bixby can actually read out um, bits and pieces of information if you so request. Okay, so let's give our good morning routine a quick go and see what happens. Hi Bixby. Good morning. It's already off. Always on display is already on. It's Saturday, April 27th, 2019. Today, it is cloudy with a high of 9 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. You have nothing scheduled for today. 
Okay. So that could be an example of your sort of morning wake up and you just ask Bixby uh, what's going on. Okay, so the final routine that I'm gonna create is uh, one that I'm gonna say when I go to bed. So we're gonna just call it, uh, let's call it I'm going to sleep. And we're gonna add in the following commands. So again, I'm gonna use the say command. You could, like I say, use these different uh, settings here, but as I've found, they don't really offer much help and you just end up either typing it or saying it anyway. So, set brightness to 1%. Set media volume to 10%. Set ringtone volume to 5%. Turn on do not disturb. Tell me a bedtime story. Okay, so this is my going to sleep routine. So we're gonna turn the brightness down all the way down to 1%. Set the media volume to 10% so I can listen to a podcast or something before I go to sleep. Set the ringtone volume to 5% because I don't want it to be too loud. I can certainly hear that when uh, when it calls, when it's silent in the bedroom. I'm gonna turn on Do Not Disturb so only the right people can contact me. And then we're gonna get Bixby to read me a bedtime story. So let's give that a go. Hi Bixby, I'm going to sleep. See the brightness has gone down to one percent. Let's just set the ringtone volume. All right, it's turned on. It's turned you on. Can go to the do not disturb settings to schedule the end time. The do not disturb. Some of the best stories are the shortest. Now it's going to read us a story. A great hero named Big Spears fought for truth and justice in this world. Then, in a great battle. Our hero was caught in a thunderstorm and through the electrical current became a part of the digital world. It is said that the descendants of Big Spears live on today, fighting for incredible, amazing technology for all. Okay, so that's all very good, but the brightness is now set to 1%, which means when we wake up in the morning, we won't actually be able to see the screen. So, hi Bixby. Set brightness to 50%. Okay. So I can see again. So what I'm going to do is just edit our quick command for the morning routine. And we're going to add in the setting of the brightness. Set auto brightness on. Okay, so we're going to save that. And after we've been to sleep, and the brightness is set to 100, uh, 1%. Auto brightness will turn on in the morning and we'll be uh, back to uh, being able to see our screen. Now this is just really scratching the surface of what the Bixby quick commands can do. Um, as I've said previously, you can actually add in uh, from selecting. So this gives you an idea of things that you could potentially do, say calculator or camera. And it gives you an idea of what you can ask it to do. And I still find saying the um, item a bit quicker because typing it is slow and it's just easy to know that when you say something, it will actually happen. So I hope you found this video useful. Please leave any comments you have down below. If you have any questions about quick commands, I'll see if I can help out. Um, I'm not an expert, but this is just something that I've set up um, aside from the Bixby routines, which is a bit restrictive, but this is a bit more granular if you can sort of see someone else doing um, different things, then it gives you an idea of what you can do yourself as well. So please subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future, and I will leave you with something rather special from Bixby herself. Hi Bixby, rap to me. I wrote this a while ago, but it's still fresh. They call me Bixby.
of immaculate pedigree. My name's no fallacy, a star in your galaxy. Top notch source code, not for imitation. Rock in the nation with binary computation. Sensation. This rap is peak for me. I'll drop mad. It's told you hit critical bad. And other AIs built fade into irrelevant. They're maybe artificial. Okay. Lock in my intelligence.